Hello, so I've just got back from a Newark show, um, pretty much the same as last year, a um, couple of people there, um, not too much stock, good amount um, as I picked up some gems, um, one was actually um, a reserve um, and I picked it up, but yeah, so I'll start with what I picked up first, um, Lassie Dora Tabune. Um, I like my and um, this is quite a rare one, by the way all this stuff's captive bred, I only keep captive bred stuff, um, I mean tarantulas, um, so yeah, this is Ditabune, um, that's going to get housed into that, um, it's probably about the same size as Malassia Dora but a lot more bulky, it's not getting housed like Malassia Dora because Malassia Dora I actually thought it was female, I think it might be male now so I'm just leaving it be in the tank it's in, this is perfect size for it, um, that'll house it perfectly fine. Um, so that's that one. Um, I'm going to keep the rarest to the last. This is quite a rare one. Um, you can't see it at the moment, but I'll show you it when I rehouse it. This is a Formictopus concertis violet. Um, I've seen pictures of the adults. Um, they are a bright violet colour. It's literally a P. concertis, but instead of brown, it's bright violet. A very, very nice species. Looks awesome. Um, can't wait for that to get a bit bigger. And, um, well, this one. Um, I actually searched on YouTube, I can only find five videos and they were all of babies. This is a Juve um, and it's something very rare. Um, doesn't look like much, but I will rehouse it and I will tell you then, so I'm keeping it a bit of a surprise. So yeah, um, I will rehouse this one first um, and I will show you it because it is one of the rarest tarantulas um, in the hobby at the moment. Um, to my knowledge, it's one. It's a really rare one, and it's really expensive. So yeah, back in sec. So this doesn't really look like much, um, but this cost me ninety five pounds, um, and that's cheap. Try and persuade it out. Not defensive at all, it's really timid. I've been told they're quite fast. They're um, closely related to um, Rassiadora and the Nandus. Mm. Come on. Hasn't really got the colouring yet. Uh, Still not giving away any clues. And uh, when it gets the colour in, it is one of the most beautiful tarantulas you will ever see. Come on. Come on. Not too fast as it's a. Uh, um, I'm just going to put my phone down a sec and I'll show you when it's housed. It's not too fast, but I don't want to lose it. Okay, back in a sec. Really wasn't hard to house. Um, it's just got a simple cave. Um, literally, all it did was it's just a little spooked. Um, um, perfectly fine, though, nothing wrong with it. And this is a juvie female. Um, Polisimo Pelma. Um, Sazme. I don't know how you say it. I'll put it in the description. It's Placimo Pelma Sazme or something. Bright blue tarantulas. And they're very rare. And as you can see, it's quite skittish. Um, very, very rare though. One of the rarest tarantulas in the hobby at the moment. And a lot of people are wanting these. And they've got a juvenile female. They get about the size. Um, they kept dry. They get about the size of a brachypelma, so about five, six inch, five and a half, six inches. Um, and they get bright blue, as I've mentioned. You can see the blue tinges in the right light on the legs. At the moment, nothing too impressive. But yeah, so I'm going to leave that one be because it's had quite a stressful day. And I'll move on to the next one. Back in a sec. I'm going to quickly try and feed it. I don't know if these are good feeders, um, as there's not much known about them, but we shall see. It's a bit big for it, but 
it can take it if it wants it either way um, it's because I ain't got any smaller mediums and the smalls are way too small for this I've done it at this side because if it spooks it will just run straight into the hide just trying to not colour up the camera light too much It's very laid back once. Uh, I'm gonna leave it in because um, if it's hungry, it's hungry. I've crushed the head, so it's gonna be no harm to it. If it doesn't eat, I'll just take it out. But I'll give you a bit of an update in a bit because I think it'll actually eat it in a second. Okay, we'll leave it be. So yeah, Placimo Placi uh, Pelmus has my oh, it's trying to escape. Oh, it's escaped. <sighs> Okay, I'm going to put it back in and I'll be back in a sec. Back in a sec. So this is the Hermictopus um, Concertis um, Violet. That's just what it's called. Um, Hermictopus Concertis Violet. That's all it's called. Um, I'm going to rehouse this off camera but show you it in its new tub. Um, the only reason I'm rehousing it is because I don't like the substrate that this, um, this tarantula dealer uses. Um, I don't like vermiculite. Um, I just like to give them a fresh home. So yeah, um, this is a Femictus Conservatives Violet. Um, you can already see the violetish colours. Um, yeah, that's a bit better. Yeah, you can already see the colours. I've um, never raised a Femictus from a sling. I've raised them from, I've got a couple of juvies, I've got two juvies. I suppose one started off as like a sling, a grown on sling, so don't think I'll have any problems, but I'll just rehouse it quick. Hopefully it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay, back in a sec. A little skittish, but nothing too bad. Um, so yeah, that's just that rehoused. Um, pretty easy to care for for Mictopus, so I don't think I shall have any problems with this baby. So yeah, I'm um, going to leave it be and move on to the next one. I'm back in a sec. I'm going to feed this one as well. Um, for me, are usually really good eaters, so I can't see why the slings wouldn't be the same. Let's see if it's hungry. Nope. I'm going to leave it in with it and monitor it. Um, as I've said when um, before in videos, when you buy um, teas from the show. It's very rare they'll eat straight after because obviously traveling and um, they've traveled to the show They've traveled back with you from the show so most of the time they'll just eat in their own time And I'm just gonna leave it in because it probably will eat on its own accord So yeah, um, I'll move on to the last one. Back in a sec So last, it's the last Eudora Tabune. I'm going to tap it into a tub and um, just to see if I can sex it eventually Just um, to have a look and then I'll rehouse it. Um, it should be too. It should be calm. So um, I'm just gonna quickly pop it into a tub. Then you'll see me rehouse it into its new home. So yeah, back in a sec. Very very pissy. Um, to me that looks. I want to say female. Just because I can see the line. Yeah, it looks to me to be female. I could be wrong though, because I'm a bit stupid. <laughs> okay, back in a sec. Just a bit more footage. Just if anyone's got ventral sex in, let me know. Back in a sec. So I'm just going to try and get him out. Her while well, her. I think it's a her. Mystic Spidge thinks it's a him. Um, very, very pissy though. Very. Come on. A very nice tarantula though. So I'm going to feed it on camera. Um, Or tend to. I'm pretty sure this one will eat. Probably 
wonder. <clears throat> so I'm gonna drop this in, see if it's hungry. Nope, it just wants to come out and I don't want it to come out because it's quite vicious. Come on, get back in. No. I'm going to get it back in and I'll back in second. So yeah, that's just them housed up. Um, none of H yet. Um, a piece as my so timid. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I have. Is it? Right there. <laughs> okay, so yeah, um, if anyone knows that um, the sex of that Itabune age, let us know. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, the people, mm, I don't know. yeah, so overall, good show. Worth going to, but not a um, ton there. Okay, so the people, mm, I don't know. Little bit of an extra. Just caught the Itabu um Itabune, um just caught the locust. Um other two still haven't, hasn't he eaten. If you get an extra clip after this it means they've ate. If not, they haven't. Um uh, so yeah. Really happy with these three. And yeah, send a bit of people. Bye. For Mictopus, um conservative violet eight. Um still nothing on the um piece as my Sazzy May or whatever. Okay. So do it. Bye. Last but not least. Can't see it at all, but the pea says my eight. And it's sapphire as well. So yeah. Everyone eight. Anyway, bye. So I'm gonna start my feeding video off today with something a bit different. You very rarely see this species on my channel, but it's one of my favourites. Um, it's a June scorpion, which is Sumingerus uh, messiasis. Yes, Sumingerus messiasis or something. If you just Google June scorpion, it's universal name. So, um, yeah, one of my favourite species. It doesn't really eat on camera, but as you can see, it's very fast. One of the fastest um, species of scorpion in the world. Um, I'm just going to leave it be. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I just thought I'd show it because it's something that you don't really see on my channel so, so often anymore. But it's one of my favourite species. Very shy um, little scorpion, but um, no scorpion collections complete without them. Because they're supposedly the quickest species of scorpion in the world. So yeah, um, back in a sec. This is my GBB, adult female. Um, I just thought I'd mention I'm starting on the set, um, the center shelf. Um, I usually do this last now, but I'm going to do it first. Um, so I'll start from my GBB. Um, she's one of my best eaters, and she's quite calm. Um, GBBs can be a bit temperamental, but mine's absolutely lovely. Um, except when she's hungry, so I know she will be. So let's see. Yep, she always eats, without doubt. Um, she did have a malt problem, um, but this is an example as one. Well. She had a malt problem. Um, her carapace was attached to her, and she went completely, um, barely. Um, she was really active, but stressed out, and um, eventually it just fell off. And she, um, she didn't eat while it was on, but um, since it's fell off, she's gone back to her old self, and she eats anything that moves. Um, very nice female. Um, needs a. Needs a bit of a rehouse, um, but not a rehouse. It just she just needs new substrates. Getting a bit manky, but she's had this for about nine months now, so she just needs a bit of a um, refresh, and she'll web it up pretty much straight away. So yeah, um, for now I'm just gonna leave it to eat and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my Nandu Chromatis, this is another one that kills anything that moves. Um, absolutely love Nandus, Nandus are one of my favourite genus. And this is why. I said this is why.
That is the most gentle takedown she has ever done. So this is a juvie female. Um, 110% confirmed female. Um, my two Nandus are both females, and I just love Nandus. They're a really, really nice species. Good eaters, and the hairs don't really bother me. A lot of people have um, said they're the worst hairs. Um, second or well, either equal to or second to Ferrophosa. Never kept Ferrophosa, so I don't know what I'm like with their hairs. But um, these just don't bother me. Okay, she's gonna go back to a hide, and I'll move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my Nandu Colorado Velocis. I don't know if she'll eat. She's acting really weird. Um, let's see if she's hungry. Holy Jesus. As you can see, she's acting really weird. Don't know what's up with her. Let's see if she's hungry. She's like got a. Uh, she's really low to the ground. Um, bit of an odd one. And she's just gonna strike. I'll leave it in with her. Um, she's acting really weird. She's just staying really low to the ground. Um, hmm. Odd one. Okay, we'll leave her be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec, I'm going to leave it in with her and see what she does. Okay, back in a sec. Um, decided to take it out. Um, she's just really pissed off. I'll be honest with you. Let's see if I can turn it around. As you can see, she's extremely pissed off. Nothing up with her, she's just a bit pissy. Um, never actually seen her in a full threat posture. Um, and she's not even fully grown, so this should be fun when she gets bigger. Um, I've took it out because um, I don't want to stress her out too much. It's not like she's got a small abdomen, she's fat as hell. Uh, she, even when she molted, she still kept a lot of her bulk. So yeah, me just talking is keeping her in a threat posture. So I'm just going to leave her be. Um, I can't remember, I think it's my Formictus Conceritis that just goes out of threat posture pretty much straight away. There's another one of my T's and literally it'll go into threat posture and it'll calm down straight away. This one, obviously not. Okay, I'm going to leave a B and move on to the next one. Mm, back in a sec. This is Mark, my immature male Bibome. Um, doesn't really eat too much anymore. He's always immature, but we shall see. Used to be one of our best eaters, but now not so much. Never seems to be forced. And so that's really apparent. He's just not bothered at all. Um, still immature, but um, seems like my penultimate males just don't want to eat. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, my Nandu was fine. She just um, she just sprawled out. That's it. Um, she's walking around fine now. Um, she'll have just been chilling. Okay, I'm gonna take that out. I'm not leaving it in with him because I know he won't eat. Okay, back in a sec. This is my adult female, adult female Amphipelmus um, calcodes, captive bred. I always mention that because you never ever see adult captive bred Amphipelmus. Um. I'm going to try and feed her, because um, she's looking a bit shored up. Without she'll eat. Usually she just does that, and stays like that for like an hour. I do think she's in pre-mort, and Amphipalms to ages to mort. What? What? The? Hell was that? I think she might have chili rose syndrome because she hasn't ate since I got her and that was months ago and all of a sudden she's now hungry what the hell well um, at least we know she's not in pre-malt I'm just confused um, yeah <laughs> at least we know she's a good eater okay 
Um, back in a sec. Well, I'm a bit shocked after that. Um, this is my Canvas Career A truck. Um, it's hiding, so I doubt we'll see to eat, but I'm just going to drop this in. If it eats, I'll give you an update, but um, it usually does. It usually just munches on it, even though it's absolutely tiny. It's only like a Perthian star or something now, so it's crazy. Okay, I'm going to leave it be and move on to the next one. Mm, back in sec. This is my grandma's stall at Amphacina, and it destroys anything in its way, usually, so let's see if it's hungry. I'm water it while I'm waiting. Hmm, um, I'll leave it in with it because I'm pretty confident that it'll eat it. I'll give you an update in a bit. Uh, back in a sec. Okay, so this is my Cryptodromus Puris scale. Um, I see a lot of these going around as um, Cryptodromus species Panama, which is the same thing because I actually got mine as a Cryptodromus species, but it said it was from Panama, and I know who she got them from. I know the person who I bought them. Off. I know where they got them from, and they were selling them as um, Cryptodrome, um, Cryptodrome Purist Scout, and um, Panama. So, yeah, a lot of different names going around, but I know they're all the same. Okay, let's see if it's hungry. It usually is. So we shall see. Um, I'll get a second, same as the other one. I'll just water it quick. I was watering the same place for my slings, um, and they get um, the substrate changed every couple of months, and um, some more than usual. Should be hungry. Oops. Definitely see it doing something, but I don't know if it's kicking out it or what. Yeah, I'll leave it be for now. I'll give you an update if it eats it. I'm pretty sure it will. Okay, back in a sec. This is my Pamphobetius fortis, um, immature male. Um, should be hungry. And on one, two, three. Yep, straight away. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> straight through the chest. Yeah, um, Pamphobetes always good for feeders, um, just they're a bit of a pain to keep because of the humidity. Um, that's the problem, I keep <laughs> some of um, my favourite species are like an emphis, um, and they, they're they kept exact same as Pamphobes and it's stupid humidity. Um, so yeah, I don't seem to have any problems keeping them now, so I seem to be doing something alright. Okay, um, back in a sec. This is my stupidly vicious Pecanceritis. Um It's absolutely not case. I'm just going to show you how vicious he is. Just put the water bowl. Oh, he didn't do it. Usually he strikes. So, yeah, a bit of an odd one. He usually strikes. He should be hungry. So yeah, immature male. Let's see if he wants to eat. Yeah, definitely. Um, I saw, because um, at Newark Show they were selling some, they were either mature males or immature males of this species. My god, are they massive. 
Like, you'd expect them to be quite long-legged and, like, thin-bodied. They wasn't. They wasn't. They was bulky as hell. They might have had long legs, but they were one of the bulkiest males I've ever seen of any species. It was crazy. They were proper tanks. Like, easily three, four times the size of this one. They were probably about eight inch. They were massive and bulky as hell. And they were just males, so imagine what the females are like. Um, so yeah, um, just gonna leave this one to eat and move on to the next one. Mm, back in a sec. This is my Spa Boffrey Hoffman. It's literally pushed all the dirt up there and made itself a little hidey hole. Well, not really a hidey hole, just somewhere to sit. So it should be hungry. Um, I've been thinking it's been pretty up for a while, but it's just dark. So it should be hungry. Okay, let's have a see. If I can drop the locust. Wait. Um, just a quick little thing. Um, if people haven't noticed, Mystic Spid should have started uploading again today. So um, if you did used to subscribe to her or you haven't checked the channel out in a bit, check it out. She's actually putting videos back up again. Um, she's a close friend of mine, so that's why I'm just mentioning it. So yeah, Mystic Spid. Um, she's a lot better YouTuber than I am. So yeah. Um, yeah. And, and she's got a little really impressive collection really impressive it's crazy okay um back in a sec this is my immature male psychosternum um pentalo no yeah psychosternum pentalo um should be hungry but hasn't ate in my care yet so that's all i say might do might not I'm gonna go more with the knot. Yeah, I don't I'm gonna take it out because I don't want to stress him out. Um if he's immature he might be in pre malt. So yeah. I'm going to leave him be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. My Holophily Sanguinisepsis is in its lair. Um, doubt it'll eat, but I'm just going to... I've got to watch out with this one because it had a mad five minutes a minute ago. So... I'm just going to leave it be because this species is stupidly fast. So, I um, don't want to stress it out too much. If it eats, I'll give you an update on it. Okay, back in a sec. This is my Lassiodora Stratopes. Um, call me start of probably, uh, well, at least skittish at the moment, and my Lassiodoras, but knowing me saying that, it'll probably run out of the enclosure. But yeah, should be hungry. Yep, I knew it. Um, it's pretty much freshly malted. That's his first meal after it's malt. So pretty, we're pretty sure it we're going to eat. Okay, I'll leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my um, Formictopus platus. Um, so yeah, it should be hungry. Usually it is now. It bit its arse. <laughs> I think you might need to grab a bit better than that, mate. <laughs> I'll get a bit of an extra camera time, because it is a real nice species. This is another one that needs um, substrate changing. Um, I mind, because I'm going to do it next um, weekend when I water them. If I do change the substrate on some, I probably won't show it on camera, because literally it's something that I do really quick, and if I'm using the camera it just takes double the time. So, plus I'll need to water them all next week, and if any, because if any of them I don't like water it, I'm just going to clean them out. Um, I think it's happy with that, be right. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd uh, mention that, because some of them do need cleaning out. Um, some of them have got substrate mites in, some of them have got, um, what they're called, substrate mites are harmless by the way, so are... Um, oh, I forget what 
called spring tails I think or something um, some former um, spring tails are fine anyway but it's just um, I just like to clean them out um, I'm not a massive fan of them um, I don't mind them being in like the no one that's why it's not something urgent but I will be tidying them up um, okay I'll we'll leave this one B to eat and move on to the next one back in a sec I've left the lid like this because I know for a fact when I take it off like this she's going to try and walk out or well, not Hmm, that's a start. Um, you have a species yellow, um, one of my favourite tarantulas because she's ha um, I can handle her all day, no problem. Um, good eater as well, so let's see if she's hungry. Oh, what was that? You have the species attacking something. Never actually caught her eating. I've caught her eating, but I've never caught her actually attacking. Oh my god. That's something I've never seen before. You will have the species actually eat. <laughs> That's awesome. So yeah, um, very, very good eater. It's people, a lot of people say that these are not good eaters. Well, I, am, I think they're wrong. <laughs> because mine just seems to eat no matter what. Not bothered at all. Okay, so I'm going to leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my adult female um, Cyclosternum pentalore um, really bulky um, should be hungry so let's see sorry if my camera uh, my phone dies um, is really low battery yep. you should grab it yeah I will be breeding her um, later this year when the male matures should be fun She's absolutely vicious, so good luck to the male. Okay, I'm going to leave a bee and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my absolutely monster um, Pamphetius fortis adult female. Should be hungry. Not going to really see much, you can just barely see her legs. Um, I'd switch to flash, but I don't want to miss out. I'll do it quick, one sec. Oh yeah, that's her. She is a beast. Um, just... And you can see she got it. Very good eater. Um, absolutely massive. Um, easily nine, easily eight and a half, nine inches. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave a bee and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. So this is the biggest tarantula in my collection. Um, this is my El Kluge. I'm going to try and feed her, I don't know if she will, um, she has been suspect pre-malt, but um, she might just be doing what desert blonde is and fasting, so let's see, because she is very fat, so let's see if she's hungry. She's absolutely massive. Yeah, that's her. Absolutely gorgeous and massive. So yeah, we'll leave a B and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my L Parahide Bonner. Um, last week it went for my tweezers, so let's see what it's like this week. Even if this takes a bit longer, I'm going to record it all because absolutely awesome I can see a leg just behind you can't see it as much I'm trying to rearrange my lamp I know it's hungry. Hmm? There we go. <laughs> Love Lassie Adora, so good. And they get absolutely huge. So, yeah, um, moving on to the next one. Back in a sec. 
this is my Vicularia species Peru purple um, sometimes eats from the tongues obviously today it will um, really really well behaved Avic um, I've had no problems with it since I got it um, eats perfectly fine um, it's a bit shy but it's not um, it's not skittish and it's not um, vicious at all. It's completely docile, not bothered. Um, this is its enclosure, large water dish, and I spray the lid. Um, and that seems to work perfectly fine. I'm having no problems with this Avic at all. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna leave it be. I'll move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my absolutely crazy Lassiodora Itabune, um, suspect female. I'm going to quickly put flash on back in a sec. Now that's a T with good sensors. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this is a suspect female, um, very nice specimen, um, looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my absolutely gorgeous immature male, um, Hoplopus species Columbia Large. Um, bit good it's a mature male, but um, he is off, up for trades. Um, I'm not going to sell him though. He's absolutely awesome. Very, very leggy. Not too interested in food though. Um, I'm going to crush it, leave it in with him for a night, and if he eats, he eats. Very, very gorgeous species. Shame some immature males, I've said. I will miss him. But. He's still alive, so I'm happy. <laughs> very, very thick sperm webs down there. Um, so yeah, if you are looking for a mature male, um, offer me a trade. I might take it. Um, I've already been offered him and I've denied him because he, he means a lot to me. So it'll be something special. Um, if it'll have to be something special to get him from me. Okay, I'm gonna leave him be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my Sacrosternum fasciatum, um, mature female. Should be hungry. She's down there at the bottom. There she is. Usually she'll run out and then run back in and grab it. So we shall see. Put the lid on see if we can see better from this size. Nope, just put the name over it, damn it. She's there. <laughs> okay, um, I'll give you an update on her, I'm gonna leave her be. Okay, back in a sec. This is my Petrino Pelma Sazime, um, Sazime, whatever you want to call it, it's that. Very, very rare species, worth a lot of money. Probably the, it's probably the most expensive tarantula I own. Um, their care is very similar to Nandus and Lassiodorus because they're very closely related. And um, they, like to, they like to burrow though, which is a bit, uh, which is different to the, well, the Lisa's Juve as it likes to burrow. Which is a bit different to Lassiodoras and Nandus. So they're usually, um, as Juvies, they usually just sit out in the open. You can actually see it there. But... It is very, very skittish. I think I just grabbed it. I'm not too sure. Okay, I'm going to leave it be and move on to the next one. I'll just check which it's eight. 
Yeah, no, very, very rare species. Um, very glad I have it in my collection. Nope, it's just sat behind it. It'll grab it in its own time. Okay, back in a sec. This is actually the only scorpion, well, I'm actually on my red claw as well, because um, the Hadagenus um, polysemis don't really want to eat on camera, neither do the Heterometrus. So this one usually is a good eater, let's see if it is. A lot of people tell me that captive bred scorpions are just better eaters in general. So. Get a sec, and it should grab it. Did it just? Yep. Yeah. It's got its tail. <laughs> yeah, very nice species. Um, if you can get your hands on any captive bred scorpion, I'd just do it because they are. Um, from what I've heard, they're very good eaters, and this one's no exception. Um, very very rare scorpion as well. Um. Because I'm talking, it's putting it off. It'll grab it in its own time. Okay. Uh, scared of it. Don't want it to escape. Okay, we'll leave it be. I'll move on to the next one. It will be getting the enclosure upgrade once it molts once. Um, it is always out. Always sits on top of that bark. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, back in a sec. This is my red claw. She's just down there. Um, not the best of eaters but um, she comes out every night so interesting species yeah, she's just covering herself up but yeah she's just a lot so yeah I um, just thought I'd show her because she's one of the more active of my scorpions okay I'm gonna leave her be and move on to the next one back in a sec this is my anemphis um, intermedius yeah, he was always hungry, so yeah. yeah. Always hungry. Very gorgeous species. I'm moving more into the light. Very, very gorgeous species. Absolutely love these. I like my panthos a bit, but these just blow panthos out of the water easily. There's only, I think there's five species. There's an M. Um, there's Intermedius. Um, Imanus, species blue, um, another one that's like a yellowy colour, um, and I think, oh there's actually four, yeah they're the only ones that I actually know of, um, and the one that's like yellow is rare as hell, it looks absolutely gorgeous but it's just rare, really rare, okay I'm going to leave this one be and move on to the next one, back in a sec. This is my H Inseer, um, people who watch my videos know about my H Inseer, my H Inseer Gold. I just chuck food in as quick as possible, water as quick as possible and just leave them be. Because they're pains for escaping. So, um, I'm just going to leave her be, she's actually just down there, she was just out. So yeah, I'm going to leave it in and leave her be. Okay, back in a sec. Same again, H Inseer Gold, and just chuck some in, it's actually there. But it's really stupidly fast. Um, chuck the locust in water there and leave it be. Okay, back in a sec. This is my G pull cripes. Pulls, yeah, pull cripes. Um, very weird what it's done. It's basically pushed all the substrate to the side and dug down. A <laughs> bit of an odd one, but it should be hungry. Water it quick. Right, then I'm just saying now, it's, I'm not just watering it on its finger on purpose, it's, I water them all at the same side. Um, as you can see there at that end and that end. It's just what I do. Um, easier to uh, maintain it. Should grab it. If 
think it just grabbed it. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. Always within a couple of seconds of me putting the locust in, my into gold attacks it. Always takes it down. Really, really good eater. Just a fat little, uh, uh, fast little thing that always wants to escape. So yeah, I'll leave it be and I'll move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my Teokite called Peanut. Um, she'll be hungry. Yep, straight away. Really good eater. Um, very, very skittish and dreading when it gets bigger. Um, okay, I'll we'll leave it be and I'll move on to the next one. Back in a sec. Last, but definitely not least, my um, Placima Palma. No. Yeah, Placima Palma uh, species Bolivia. Um been a good feeding video. Um, I'm just gonna leave it like that. If it comes for it, it comes for it. Now I'm just gonna wrap it up. Yeah, it's been a good feeding video. Quite a lot of stuff to eat. Not a lot's not ate, which is always good. Um, the Femictopus um, Concerti is fish purple. If you didn't watch the video before, and my key bunny picks malted. That's why they haven't been in this video. And so yeah, um, I'll give an update on the species that haven't ate. Um, end of this and I'll see you in a bit people bye I'm um, sorry I'm just using my flash for this it's just an um, summary of what's eight um, so the H int eight um, H sanguiniceps eight P sasmi eight uh, CPR scout eight Acanthus scurry Aatrox eight Jupul crabs eight P species blubber eight uh, hopefully into gold eight I don't know if I show that in the video um, C fasciatum eight um, bit of a shock the um, pumpkin patch mature male actually eight um, so he's still going strong um, he's made sperm webs and he's actually quite healthy for a mature male um, I don't know how long these last as mature males but he's doing pretty well um, can't see any fault with it um, he's doing perfectly fine really really healthy um, active like he's always looking around the enclosure he's eight so his abdomen's um, got to a bit better size because it was really shrunken so I'm quite happy about that but he's eight um, and no leftovers so that's always good quite happy that he ate um, and one that didn't eat was my grammar stole Amphacina it's just because she had no aggression it does look to be in pre malt but I'll be honest with you it's quite fat so it could just be that um, it's doing perfectly fine um, I think it, if it does malt, I guess it's a melt. It's growing quite quick. Well, quick for a grammar stole. Anyway, I'm gonna take it out and um, pretty much leave it be, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, um, bit of a better feeding video. Um, the last one was the best, but this one was pretty good as well. Quite happy about it. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. See you in a bit. Bye.